offer to God the sacrifices of thanksgiving, and pay your vows to the Most High.
Yet he too, in his wisdom, can bring trouble. And he does not take back his threats. He will rise up against wrongdoers, against all who go to the help of evildoers. The Egyptians are mortals, not gods. Their forces are flesh, not spirit. When the Lord stretches out his hand, the helper will stumble, and the one who is helped will fall. Both will perish together. This is what the Lord has said to me. As a lion or a young lion rattles over its prey when the shepherds are called out from force, and it is not scared of their shouting or daunted by their clamor, so the Lord of hosts will come down to do battle on the heights of Mount Zion. Like a hovering bird, the Lord of hosts will be a shield over Jerusalem. He will shield and deliver her, sparing and rescuing. Thank you. 
preach the gospel to them. I want to simply uh, share with you uh, just a reflection or two about ministry in Macedonia. If we could uh, rephrase this passage of scripture, Paul had just uh, put together uh, his uh, evangelism team, his missionary team, it included a, a, a young brother uh, with a Jewish mother and Greek father, uh, Timothy, and he prepared him uh, for this ministry. He took another you know, man named Mark with him, and they were preparing to go out to ministry. Now, the way they were preparing to go was actually pretty much familiar territory. Uh, it is what we count as present day Asia. And they were going to go minister at Asia. But they were on their way to the first congregational church of, uh, of, uh, of uh, Galatia. And it said that the Spirit forbid them to preach the word in Asia. They, they discovered so much resistance that they could only conclude that it was the spirit that forbade them. And so they decided to go another direction, but within the same geographical area, down through Bithynia. But the text says that the spirit did not permit them to go there either. And so while they were in their uh, hotel that night, the Holiday Inn, Oh, 
feel royal. In your own time, I want you to investigate and read again that text because it describes her as a worshiper of God. It says she was a worshiper of God, but the Lord had to open her heart so that she could hear the message from Paul. And after she hears the message from Paul, she says to Paul, if you consider me a believer, then come to my house. The challenge that's presented here and the challenge that I put before you is sometimes you're going to have to lead people from being worshipers to being believers. Mm -hmm. She was already a worshiper. She knew the liturgy inside and out. Mm -hmm. She knew how to behave in church. She knew how to carry herself in church. But obviously there was something missing because something had happened in her life to close her heart. And it took the Lord opening her heart for her to move from being a worshiper to a believer. For those of you who are going into the parish ministry, you may have a great many worshipers, <laughs> but your job is to turn them into believers. That's right. That's right. That's right. Believe them to come to be believers. That was his first challenge in ministry. His second challenge happened as he would leave uh, on a daily basis from a prayer meeting. And as he and his entourage left from a prayer meeting, there was a little there was a slave girl uh, whose uh, master made a great deal of money off of her ability to tell fortunes. And she would follow them crying out at the top of her lungs. These men are the slaves of the Most High God. And they will show you a way to, uh, to a salvation. These men are slaves of the Most High God and will show you way to salvation. Now the text says that Paul at some point became annoyed. <laughs> His ministry didn't really begin with this girl until he became annoyed. Now sometimes when you're going to try to be the good leader and the good pastor and certainly the last thing you want to do is to show your thought that you are Come on. 
sometimes I've learned it's best to have someone close to you when you get ready to do things that you know it is hard for you to do. Not only a son, a friend, a brother, a classmate, a colleague, whatever you want to call him, he was a child of God for the others. Jamal Young. Let us have a silence and prayer to remember Jamal. Lord, thank you for keeping him safe.
life. You made us in your image and called us to new life in Jesus Christ. In all times and places, your people proclaim your glory and unending praise. Holy, holy, holy.
Samuel Williams, 